हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम टू पार्ट सेवन ऑफ सेल्स फोर्स एसोसिएट एम प्रैक्टिस टेस्ट सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू यू नो गो थ्रू अगेन द न्यू क्वेश्चंस एंड जस्ट वी विल स्टार्ट विद क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्सटी यू आर अ सेल्स मैनेजर एट अ कंपनी एंड यू वांट टू ट्रैक द प्रोग्रेस ऑफ योर सेल्स टीम्स अपॉर्चुनिटीज ओके सो यू आर सम अ मैनेजर हु वॉन्ट्स टू सी दैट हाउ देयर सेल्स टीम्स इज डूइंग एंड हाउ दे आर यू नो ट्रैकिंग द अपॉर्चुनिटीज वॉट आर अपॉर्चुनिटीज opportunities could be the probable customer or clients for the sales services or something that you are offering on salesforce you can use a dash in salesforce to visually display each opportunity in its current stage in the sales process so before you know moving ahead to the question and answer what we'll discuss what exactly is current stage so like uh, you know in every sale that happens on salesforce there are multiple stages uh you know it can be a to do list it could be in progress it could be done it could be rejected it could be in bargaining it could be in review so there are multiple stages a sales happens so to to you know track that and you know the visually display that we need something so we have three options here kanban board create report create a dashboard so the answer over here is option number a kanban board why using a kanban board in salesforce can help you track and manage your sales pipelines more effectively by providing a visual representation in this what happens whenever the opportunity moves from one stage to another stage you can see it visually you can see that how many opportunities are in to do list how many opportunities are in progress how many opportunities are you know in uh, in bargain or in review in uh, rephase so if you have ever worked in agile way of working or you know you must have seen in your sprint that there are multiple user stories and they move from to do to in progress to done in a similar way there there's a think of kanban board when it comes to the salesforce thing and this is a uh, important section of the exam curriculum so you should know that what exactly kanban board is if you are still confused if you are still unsure what i'm talking about just google it once and you know in google images you will be able to see this visually uh, display of the stages of the opportunities that i'm talking about question number 67 at get clouding consultancy team has to create a list of all installed and custom application in then org what is the right tool to do that in salesforce we have three options here app exchange app launcher third one is help okay we know that salesforce help is a place where all the documentations are updated and you know they put out the new version of documentation as and when the new versions are being uploaded so over here what is our aim our aim is to create a list of all installed and custom applications so it's like we want to see that what all things that we already have in so the answer over here is app launcher in app launcher you can access all the applications that you have installed so you can go in app launcher and you can see what all things you have and you can make a list out of it and your purpose of this question will be done if you want to learn more about the functionalities of app launcher i have listed five of them over here so you can just pause and you can read them for yourself and you can understand what is the significant difference between app launcher and app exchange question number 68 get clouding consultation wants to work on customer service teams and help manage customer cases support tickets customer interactions across multiple channels which of the following they should opt for so uh you know our aim is customer cases support tickets and customer interactions we have dealt with similar questions in you know videos that i have recorded before and uh, over here we have three options marketing cloud sales cloud and service cloud My marketing cloud is mostly related when you want to create a interactive user interface or interactive and collaborative user interface or user experience for the users sales cloud is more related to the e-commerce where you can put your logistics when you can put your um listings of products where you can uh, showcase what are, what all things you have to offer so in this case sales cloud comes into picture 
but when you are trying to deal with cases support tickets or customer interactions related to your products in this case service cloud is the answer so answer is option number c if you want to learn more about service cloud i have provided an explanation over here over here in the one slide you can see the question the answer and the explanation all together in one so just pause the video read it for yourself and it's the same thing that i told you that service cloud mostly helps you to manage the relationship with your customer in terms of complaints tickets suggestions or feedback question number 69 a salesforce associate wants to get a new field added to the org to whom should he reach out and collaborate to get this done so we have three options over here one is salesforce admin salesforce architecture salesforce developer so a developer can do nothing about it they mostly focus on developing the whole thing uh, salesforce architect and then we have salesforce administrator so the answer over here is salesforce administrator okay so salesforce administrator is responsible for managing the salesforce org including adding new fields and customizing the platform to meet the needs of organization so if you want to you know modify the uh, permission sets or if you want to modify the access rights or your role hierarchy the right person to go to is the admin okay now question number 70 salesforce user wants to contact salesforce support directly for personalized assistance where should user navigate to if they want we have three options google trailhead salesforce help google won't you know give them a personalized assistance what they are aiming for trailhead is a place that is mostly for learning salesforce like where you can you know log in and create your account and you know you can study about the things and the modules and the trails they have to offer then we have salesforce help salesforce help is related to you know documentation but there there is a section where you can reach out to the salesforce team and you can mention that this is the help that we need this is the personalized assistance we need so in this question the right answer is salesforce help question number 71 A Salesforce administrator has used Process Builder to create a process in which client are updated for their cases via automated emails. Okay, now what exactly this question means? Till now, is that like whenever you create a complaint at Flipkart, you get a res- you you get a email right that your ticket has been registered. So and so person will reach out to you in hours. Then you have a word with them or you chat with them. and then when your conversation is ended you get a mail that how was your feedback and uh, things like that so this is like you know updating client on automated emails depending upon how the conversation is ongoing okay so this is our scenario so the person he did this using an extensive coding which of the following approach he used so we have two type of coding uh declarative and new programative so he he is using no extensive coding okay so in this case the answer is declarative coding so declarative coding is a approach that allows salesforce admins like the people who do not know about coding or they do not know how to be a coder but they still want to make things work around there's a there's a offering by salesforce known as declarative coding where a non technical user can customize and automate salesforce depending upon their needs and beliefs okay yeah question number 72 A Salesforce developer and you need to create a and test a new customization or integrations for your organization's Salesforce instance. Which of the following he should use? So this is a question which confuses many people. Like we are well aware of what is a developer edition. We are well aware of what is a playground, and we are well aware of what is a sandbox. But in this situation, 
he needs to uh, develop something so sandbox is basically used when you want to replicate production like thing and you want to see if this thing works for you or not playground comes into place when you want to learn things of salesforce so in this case if you want to create you don't want to deploy but you want to create something new okay and you want to test it at the same place then the answer is option number a developer edition org so yeah so you know in developer edition you can integrate your third party applications you can connect your database and many other functionalities are present which are missing in sandbox so if you want to create and test developer if you want to deploy and test sandbox and if you want to learn then playground so i hope this is clear and uh, this is a detailed explanation for the same question question number 73 acme inc and widget co are sharing the same infrastructure and their data and customizations are kept separate and secure from each other this allows salesforce to provide a scalable and cost effective solution for multiple organizations with different needs and requirements what is this called so when two companies are sharing the same infrastructure and their data is customized to keep it separate and secure from each other so this functionality or this capability of salesforce is called multi tenancy multi tenancy is the same infrastructure is rented out by different clients of theirs and you know by by renting it out they ensure that their uh, data is kept separate and secure from each other so yeah so multi tenancy in salesforce enables multiple organizations to share the same infrastructure so this is something that is offered by salesforce which helps them to be relevantly cheap if this would haven't been the case the people or the client have to pay more for using the exactly same things question number 74 a retail company that wants to track customers orders for doing the same they are willing to create few custom objects and relationships between them which of the following salesforce tool they should use to do the same we have three options over here object manager account manager app exchange okay so the answer over here is object manager so in salesforce the object manager is a tool that allows you to create modify and manage custom objects so like even if you you know you will read a question somewhere that uh, you want to modify an object because of xyz reason you want to modify an field you want to modify object relationship you want to modify um, like anything that is related to the data and the connections and you want to put something customs the answer is always object manager okay so the object manager is a tool that allows you to create modify and manage custom objects and standard objects custom objects are used to store data specific to your organization business processes while standard objects are pre built objects that are provided by salesforce and if you want to manage them in any way then you have to go to object manager account manager is not the answer app exchange is just a marketplace for all the applications and plugins that salesforce has to offer okay question number 75 what is full form of erp in salesforce so the answer is very straight forward the full form of erp is enterprise resource planning yeah if you again i have given up uh, explanation for erp you can have a look for yourself so this was it this was all i wanted to tell about you in uh, part 7 so as of now i've decided to conclude this playlist with 10 parts because i think that will be enough if you need any more help from me in in creating videos 
or if you and even i have you know thought of you know creating one video in which i'm covering all the 100 mcqs or all the mcqs that i'll be covering 10 parts so that you know rather than going to multiple parts you can opt for the that if you want to just do a quick revision for your uh, exam and this is this video you will be able to find in the playlist in which i'm adding all these uh, different uh, parts of mcqs and i hope that you know i'm able to create that soon and share it with you guys thank you